Hey everyone, I hope that your day is going amazing today. Now today I decided to do something a little more crafty. I usually um, put out videos about like more painting, drawing, sketching related things. Um, but I was on Pinterest and I saw these really cool air dry clay charms and ideas like that. I've seen other YouTube videos that have like um, where they make clay charms and stuff and I really wanted to test out my own clay kind of stuff um, but these didn't really turn out to be clay charms I don't really know what the definition of clay charms is but these were just some fun um, little characters that I created so I'm using Crayola air dry clay I didn't want to use like a polymer clay plus air dry clay was all I had it was actually my sister's so Thanks to her for letting me use it. Um, so yeah, I basically just sort of molded the clay into the shapes that I wanted. The air dry clay was very soft, which I really liked. It was pretty easy to mold. And then if I needed to like smooth it out a little bit more, I just used the tiniest bit of water and that worked really well for me. So you could probably guess by the thumbnail, but I decided to make a bunch of mushrooms. I found some reference pictures online, but then I decided to just kind of make up my own. I wasn't really going for a certain type. I wanted to be sort of realistic, but also sort of my own like creation. So I tried to not make the mushrooms too uniform, but just kind of make them go with my style. As you can see, I didn't have correct clay tools and stuff. I just used a paint spatula or a paint. I don't know what it is, a paint uh, mixer? I don't know. And I used that to make the like fungus that was growing on the side of the mushroom. And that worked really well for me. I don't know, I just kind of used it to create little divots. I really like textured um, things, as you can see by my artwork and by other things that I make. So I really wanted the mushrooms to have texture and really look like they were just kind of picked from the ground. So yeah, I just kind of came up with my own shapes for them and I found the clay really easy to work with. So I'd say that the process was very easy and I didn't have any troubles with the clay. this like geometry stylus that I found for poking holes in the caps of the mushrooms and in the stems so that I could stick it together easily. Um, the first cap broke unfortunately which I was kind of frustrated about but I pretty easily made the second one. I came up with this little mushroom dude, and I really love this design. I think it's my favorite um, of the mushrooms that I made, but I was really excited about the colors that I would later paint him, and I think later you'll see he turned out pretty well. I ended up making three mushrooms for my little family, and the third one I end up not painting just because it does break. I think looking back, I should have probably um, attach the caps to the stems in a better way or just a little more securely. I'm not totally sure how I could have done that, but I think it would have just saved me from a lot of breakage later. I really like slugs and snails, so I made this little snail dude to join my collection, and then I also made a little chicken at the end. The next day, I was ready to paint. I was pretty confident that I would know what colors to use, but to start off, I wasn't totally sure what to do. I just took out my acrylic paints and started mixing colors that I thought would look good. 
for the mushrooms i didn't follow any particular reference like i said i kind of just thought of really cool color combinations to make a sort of woodlandy mushroom i don't know I think this little mushroom was my favorite to paint just because the colors worked out way more than the big mushroom that I did. I wasn't able to paint the last mushroom just because the cap broke off of the stem and by the time it was done drying then I was already done painting and I didn't really feel like painting another mushroom. I really liked the finishing touches that I did on the top of the cap of the mushrooms though, the dirt, the green fungus, and then the little, I guess scales would you call them, on the top. I just really like how that turned out and I'm really happy how this little character turned out. Lastly, I painted my lovely chicken. He's kind of just a chicken blob. I don't I don't really know what I was thinking, but I think chickens are kind of cool. So, I yeah, the painting the beak was really fidgety just because it was so tiny. Um and also the I don't know what you'd call that like the crow something the, the crown i guess the red part of the chicken but i think it turned out really cute for the wings i did have to use one of my microns but other than that i think it turned out really fun this is the finished product of my creations that i made i think all in all i did pretty good it turned out quite well not exactly the colors but i think the whole design turned out pretty well I definitely want to do more like crafty kind of stuff on my channel and definitely want to use clay more in the future just because it's super fun to work with especially air dry clay and I also want to try more sculpting or even like making clay pots and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play around with clay and I hope you guys like the designs I made. Um, feel free to check out some of my other videos on my channel and also thank you for 30 subscribers I was very excited about that and seeing my channel grow. I hope you guys have a really nice rest of your day And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye